how did you find out about the news that about your promotion the right time starting right time? Uh, I found out it means today. That's that's pretty much it. What does it mean to you uh, to get back to this point, especially with everything you went through? Uh, I mean, it's, the job's not finished yet. I mean, I still gotta keep. I still got a lot of things I gotta work on. So I mean, it's it's cool and all, but I mean, I still want to keep building and stacking on where I'm at right now. What has this journey been like for you? Okay. The last couple of years, all the way to, to this. Uh, it's been it's been hard. It's been a lot of a lot of rocky rocky things going on in my life. I mean, the the best thing that happened to me over these past two years is my my son. Uh, that's I mean that's that's pretty much it. Like I mean he's he's the reason why I kept driving and kept pushing to where I'm at right now and never give, gave never giving up. That's why I'm where I'm at right now. Have you told him yet? I mean, he he won. He don't really understand, so he'll he'll know in about a year or two. I mean, I tell him, I tell him, but he don't know. He don't understand what I'm saying. You, you mentioned your son many times. Just, uh, how how does that change you becoming a father, uh, especially uh, when you have a lot of adversity? Uh, it's dope. I mean, I mean, I I know I know what things I can tell him to do when he gets to my point and getting my age, and what things he can do and what he, what he can't do. So. I mean, it's it's pretty fun seeing him grow up into like a little, little little child that he is now, and he's getting more smarter and getting more mature, picking up on more things. So it's it's dope. Was it uh, was it challenging for you at all, trying being patient throughout this process of training camp, where they were kind of ramping you up, and you know that was part of the process coming back from your knee. But like, was it for you? I'm sure you want to be out there and and you know going full speed ahead. Yeah, it's it's definitely challenging when when you've been when you've been a competitor all your life. You just do, know nothing but compete. So it's just. It's definitely, it was definitely challenging, but it was, it was just all part of the process. I was having a good time, just building and getting better, getting one percent better every day, and that's, that's just, I know, I know, I needed to do that, so it's all good. What was it like playing right tackle in the game the other night? Because it was the first time in an NFL game that you ever played. Uh, I, I felt, I felt actually, I felt real comfortable where I was at. Like I felt, I felt good. I would say I, I was, I was pretty. Key on like where my hands are at, where I'm at on my spot and stuff like that. So I felt I felt great. What's the difference, biggest difference between playing and left and right tackle? I mean, it's it's pretty much like playing a whole new position. Like it's not it's not it's not as easy as people think. Just switching from one side to another side. But I mean, once you once you get down pack and get your get your landmarks and stuff, it's it's pretty much the same position. But starting off, it's it's kind of hard. Salah said that throughout training camp you've been super positive. Was that something that you kind of emphasized coming in here? And, and how much of a challenge has that been over the course of the last two years? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, that was one of my main things, to always stay positive because I've, I've had nothing but negativity over these last two years. So there's no point in keep staying negative as, as, while I'm out here, and that's, that's all I've been wanting to do. So, I mean, yeah, that was, that was a big emphasis for me. Like, don't, I, don't take it for granted, pretty much. Like, I, I'm, I've been... I haven't been here for two years, so why not come out here and have fun? So what's it going to be like blocking for Aaron Rodgers on Saturday night? Uh, it's, it's already surreal, like in the huddle in practice. Like I'm, I'm already start. I mean, I'm, I've been starstruck the whole time. So I mean, I'm, I'm starstruck while I'm actually in the huddle with him. But I'm, I know what the job is and I know what I got to do. So we saw the moment you guys had on. I don't know if you watched Hard Knocks or not, but we saw the moment you had with Aaron on the sideline where he said, "Let's get lunch this week and all that." What, what does it mean to have him pulling you aside like that and? Kind of, it's cool. Yeah. It's real cool. Yeah, yeah. We had lunch yesterday. Yeah, we, that's probably gonna be a reoccurring thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool. Like seeing, like him understanding the work that I've been through and the work that I've been putting in. So it's it's kind of dope to like have somebody on like that on your side. So it's cool. Where'd you, Where'd you go, go for lunch? Huh? Where'd you go for lunch? Right here at the cafeteria. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had meetings, so we we couldn't go nowhere. Well, what, what did you have for lunch? Uh, I don't even remember. A bunch of fish and veggies. What's yeah. With ADT, obviously both now on the right side. Yeah. Just building, developing that chemistry. What's that? What's that? Uh, our relationship has been the same since he first got here. Since we said we was gonna play beside each other, and now we're just telling each other we gotta actually do it this year. Like we, we gotta make some noise, and we gotta, we gotta make our presence felt. That's that's our big thing right now. When you were talking with Aaron, was he kind of expressing some confidence in you? Just kind of. We're encouraging you. What were those conversations like between the two of you? You know, the guy who's done all he has and he's taking you aside. Uh, yeah, it was it was a bunch of encouraging words and a lot of motivational, a lot of funny stuff. Like he's he's a that guy's a comedian. Um, 
that's, that, that's pretty much it. Just all of that, just everything, honestly. Knowing what you've been through to have a guy that, that has that experience to kind of, you know, give you some encouragement, what, what's that like to, you know, Know what you've been yeah, that's that's cool. I mean, that's that's dope. I mean, it's it's not it didn't go unnoticed like the work that I put in. So, it's it's dope. It's it's very encouraging. Very uplifting for sure.